Well, I'm here to do a walk around with my race car as uh, some YouTube subscriber uh, asked ask for it. So, this is the outside, outside of the car. We have a very big front splitter. Uh, the, those steel thing that reinforces the front tips, front splitter were not there. Uh, it was uh, the accident, I mean, some minor accidents during the uh, pre-race uh, practice and qualification. So we had to fix it this way. Otherwise, uh, the splitter, splitter is quite long and uh, there's no steel, there's no steel uh, plate reinforcement like this. As you can see that I nearly destroyed my car but luckily inside this bumper there's a steel bar so uh, when I went to the when I went to the uh, tire walk a couple times uh, my fender was broken but uh, the crash did not go into did not destroy uh, did not have any impact to the lower lower arm or suspension components this is the uh, intake tunnel intake I mean the radiator tunnel is specially designed to uh, have the smoothest uh, airflow possible so we, so the engine won't overheat a lot of cars don't have that but this one was done by uh, that one was done by a specialist uh, Ajahn Sidi Woon uh, very very uh, professional NASCAR uh, specialist so this is the outside of the car basically we are running to one running 20 millimeter spacers but uh, this year I'm making a new chassis for, with EK uh, it will be using custom made uh, longer lower arm and upper upper arm uh, and upright so we don't want to use spacers because uh, it's very difficult to turn it's not good for the handling so this is a new thing uh, it's a uh, this one allowed me to flat I mean uh, flat, flat on a throttle in uh, some very very high speed corners in this course this road course okay now the inside of the car, as you can see, uh, the seat, uh, I mean this roll cage was uh, designed so the seat was moved as backward as possible to move some uh, way to the rear. And uh, because of that, we, have to, we, ha we had to, uh, I had to ask, I had to design this car so that this uh, steering column is longer and uh, uh, pedal box hydraulics uh, non non uh, not vacuum assisted uh, this one takes about I mean the clutch takes about maybe 30 kilograms to press this is about it can be uh, 40 to 60 depending kilograms of fit for uh, foot force depending on, on uh, how heavy you want to break so the power panel I mean the switch panel the dashboard is useless except the uh, ship lights okay and then uh, cool this is the fire extinguisher over here is what uh, is a cool tank is for cool suits it's a uh, crucial over here because uh, over here, we race un in with the ambient temperature of 30, 30 something degrees Celsius, and then in the the suit temperature can be over 60, and then uh, half through the half through the race, uh, your mind start to go blur. So with uh, with this thing, you still feel hot, but your core temperature is not will not be as high as others. That gives you some advantage. Uh, less uh, gear, uh, gear, miss gear problems, uh, you know, making right corner turnings more focused, things like that. It's important to have this one. Okay, so those are ugly wirings, but 
uh, I'm, next year I'll be using Motec and then uh, there will be a specialist for wiring things things over there. I mean, wiring things, wiring uh, Motec so it won't be this ugly. The fuel supply system, this, that's a big one over there is a fuel sub tank. These are fuel, fuel pumps. Over here underneath this carbon plate, it's a ATL. Uh, sorry, it's a ATL uh, cell, uh, fuel bladder. So, in case of severe crash, it's a bladder. So it deforms; it doesn't break, and uh, so the fuel has li less chance to, you know, leak and cause a fire. And if we have fire, this is a uh, lifeline, uh, two liter. AAF, AAF, uh, fire, fire extinguisher, uh, good for, it's, it's form like, good for uh, anything that is, any fire that is uh, related to uh, fuel. So, we have to pull this pin now, when we are off the race, when we go out to race. So, uh, when you have this pin now, and then, for example, you're involved in the accident and then you are not unconscious. The marshals can always pull these two switch. For one is to uh, stop the engine. The, I mean the power, which is over here. This power switch. The other one is to you. The other one is to the plug on the, I mean to activate the um, extinguisher and the outlet, there are two outlets at the back, I mean at the fuel tank and two into the engine. So yeah and then that's where I put my GoPro, yeah. And uh, this is thing, this thing is extremely durable, uh, you can, you can you can roll like a couple times, uh, you know, and then you still survive. So, uh, but this 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 chassis is getting old. Uh, I am. It helped me to get the uh, sec second uh, first runner up of this year. Uh, this this race, the Bangs and Street Circuit, I got number one in my category and third in overall. So that's the car, and uh, next this year I will, I'm building a car based on the EK, which has the same uh, platform, but uh, just look nicer like this one. My friends, unfortunately, um, he's faster, but he's unfortunately, unfortunately, he he's got engine problem and uh, fuel supply problem this time. Racing has all kinds of problems. Alright, thank you for watching.